PTSD is post-traumatic stress disorder, and a lot of veterans and first responders have it. What it is, is human-on-human -human contact. So, um, you know, as you can appreciate overseas, uh, we were involved in battles, so that is a very stressful thing. More stressful when your fellow brothers and sisters are being wounded beside you or killed in action. It's, it can be a big, big switch to go from that mindset to come back to civilian life and suddenly things are very, very different. When it comes to mental health, when it comes to PTSD, at the end of the day, uh, everyone else out there is doing their best, but uh, you know, I always said in the end, I lean left, he leans right, and we hold each other up. To be reunited and, and connected with a group of people, whether they're first responders or military, who have the same kind of experiences, we speak the same language. Getting together with a group of people that we've served with, that our lives have touched, even though we, we may not know, or we, we didn't know at the time that our lives were touching. It's, it's, um, it's a big part of a healing journey that we're all on. And Op Pegasus is a situation where it's giving us this blessing to be able to uh, kind of heal together and bond together again. And, and instead of being around civilians who don't understand what we've been through, we get to talk the same language to a whole bunch of people who understand. And it's, it's amazing. I haven't been able to stop smiling since I got here. Honestly, skydiving is one of those things that it brings together a huge community. It's basically a family. Once you're in, where you have a family for life. This is something that there's always going to be somebody there for you. There's all those things that you feel when you're on deployment, all the adrenaline, uh, the risks that you're taking, everything that is kind of pumping through you. And then you go home and you're once you're retired and you're kind of by yourself, you're you don't have that camaraderie anymore. And and this is a place where we can bring everybody back together and just to, just so people know that they're not alone. Everybody's here for each other and that's one of the amazing things about skydiving. I've been out now for 18 years and to me I still operate every day as if I'm in the military and that's one of the things with Op Pegasus when we were all sitting around uh, Gunny and myself and Gavin and Bob like oh, there's a, a large military uh, presence here on the drop zone and we're all, we're all going through our own, you know, mental journeys that we deal with. And we thought, you know what, if we're doing this, there's a lot of veterans and first responders out there that are doing the same thing. Yeah, I think that directly correlates with the intent, the mission intent for Op Pegasus is exactly that, to bring together a community of individuals, to overcome uh, some of their fears, to also work with those professionals that are very comfortable with doing it but also to bring uh, together those that may not have seen each other for a long time, to check up on each other, just like a family. And in the end, you can see the benefits of the uh, collaboration where everyone's gotten together. That feeling, that excitement they have on their face after they've landed, that safe feeling makes them get the wheels turning their head where they think, maybe I can uh, live on day to day and continue on despite my fears and anxieties that I can go on with my life and continue doing things that are uh, beneficial to the community. There are lots of resources out there. I've been out for 14 years. There was almost zero resources then. But now just look around. Don't be afraid to get help. Don't be afraid to ask for help. People with the hardest experiences tend to give up a little easier when they really need it. They're the ones that need it. I love the thought of this that um, these guys have done here. Get a community, a specific group of um, veterans, current serving soldiers, and anybody in the first uh, responding community, all together at the same time, sharing not only a passion in jumping, but also camaraderie, esprit de corps, and um, you know, talk about PTSD in, in an open environment where it's okay to do that. Once you leave the community, for a lot of people, it's a hard stop. Um, you kind of just jump off the train and everybody else just continues on with the mission and all that kind of stuff. So reconnecting with the community after years, for me, a lot of these guys I haven't seen in you know, almost 20 years, 17 years plus. So, uh, But reconnecting with the community, they're still the same people, still like-minded individuals, mission-focused, team-first people, which is great. So it's been fantastic. 
it's great to be around like-minded individuals. And you know, for me, the biggest part was I suffered in silence for a really long time, quite a long time actually. So it was, it's good to come out and, and sort of you know, just be okay with it. The veteran community at one point in time was very toxic and there was lots of infighting and bitterness and not wanting to engage each other. And over the years, We've seen the error of the ways, I guess, and we've had some influx of new people, and um, this new generation of veterans want to be together. We want to work together, and this is what the culmination is, is you have a veteran organization bringing veterans together to do something hard and challenging and uh, do it successfully. It's awesome. For me, Operation Pegasus is a, a chance to give back we had a discussion about uh, basically mental health in, in this tent here last night. And it was quite informative. It was directed toward the spouses, but I'd like to say that it gives you the opportunity to come out and meet your peers. And when you're meeting your peers, you kind of, it's, it's, it's never about you, but it makes you realize that you're not alone. You know, there are people out there with that, that, got scrambled eggs upstairs in a lot of cases or you know are having triggers and issues with PTSD and you're not alone and I think that's one of the biggest things that uh, Operation Pegasus brings together it's it's the Airborne Brotherhood and no one gets left behind. We feel the operational tempo that a lot of these uh, veterans and first responders have gone through, uh, they no longer have that tempo. They are also used to operating at a high level. Uh, so PTSD is, you know, it's stress. And we figure, hey, let's do, get these guys parachuting and put them into a positive stressful situation where they learn to manage it because it's all about stress management. So we thought, hey, this would be a great way to do it. And we picked Campbell River Skydive to be our host drop zone because it is the only veteran-owned drop zone in Canada. So both the owners are ex-military. One is a retired Master Warrant Officer from Search and Rescue, Canadian Air Force, and the other is an Army Commando Pathfinder. There's a big difference when you get together with ex-paratroopers and sartex and less that like the staff at this school and all the people that you serve with when you're trying to when you're talking to them you don't have to explain what you're trying to explain they already know like even when you go to your psycho psychiatrist to my physio guy or to an operational stress injury clinic they don't know they are trained in certain things but they don't know that's that's the difference and getting together with a group of people like this if you said one stupid sentence everybody know exactly what you're talking about <laughs> because they've done it and they know the terms and they know the slang and they, know the, they probably yeah. know the guy you're talking about that did something stupid. <laughs> Operation Pegasus, I think it's a great idea. Uh, there's, a, there's a community of veterans out there that need a place to talk to other veterans, to work through stuff that only a veteran would understand. And so it's, it's a community that needs, needs to be developed and maintained. I'm terrified to jump out of airplanes. I've been in gunfights, I've been blown up, I've been on patrols in places that most people would fear to tread. And the one thing that always terrified me was falling. And I do not like the idea of jumping out of an airplane. And I, even more than that, don't like the idea of having something that scares me so much I won't do it. So I'm gonna do it. It's a, it's a special event for uh, veterans to come together, uh, including uh, not just including, but including uh, X Airborne, uh, uh, Sartex, uh, for, uh, first responders such as uh, ambulance attendants and firefighters, and, uh, people on the front line doing uh, risky uh, and uh, tra having traumatic experiences uh, in their line of work. It is a uh, mental health initiative that has allowed veterans, first responders, and law enforcement to come together as a collective, share stories before the jump, share stories after the jump, 
uh, probably more importantly in the quiet times when we're waiting to do something or waiting to see what we're gonna do the next day. It's those moments where we're all hanging out, leaning against a wall, casually chatting that some of the greatest moments of this initiative have come into play for myself and for other people that I've known. It's about beating back your demons, and if that is your demons from PTSD, or if that is your demons from your fears, it's it's about reminding yourself that you're a warrior, and that you're a bit of a savage, and that you're a man or a woman who wore a uniform or beret at a certain time and showed that kind of strength that the country needed. And so now's an opportunity for me to show that strength again to myself and remind myself. PTSD affects each and every one of us in so many different ways and there are so many different triggers and um, you know myself I'm very hyper vigilant I have issues with hands and feet and license plates and faces and, and sometimes it gets overwhelming it's so nice to look at a crowd of people and know that they're there for you and you're there for them and it's uh, it it's hard to understand that your focus just gets so tunnel vision in certain certain issues in certain areas that there's there's none of that. I mean, I travel with a service dog all the time, and I'm able to let my service dogs relax and have a break because I'm in good hands. Not everybody's on the same journey. Maybe you're not ready to come out and jump out of a plane, but if you just want to be part of it, just to be back in the fold with the people that we did so much with, the people that, some of them that they never judged us, you know, they just wanted to serve with us. It doesn't matter who you are, what you look like. We used to say, we are one sex, we are soldier, we are one color, we are green. And this is what it is here with this bunch of people. And no matter what stage you're at, what mileage you're at on your journey, um, come out and experience this and see what it is and be part of it. You know, this is, at some point in time, it's gonna be part of your healing journey. Uh, Operation Pegasus is important because for me personally, uh, I moved out to the island last summer and specifically for Campbell River Skydiving Centre to get back into skydiving because it was something I felt I was missing, that camaraderie and the community from the military. I thought this would be a great opportunity to, to, to get together with uh, other brothers in arms and other uh, people from various walks of life who are here for their own reasons and you know, it's like a camaraderie that, that you don't get too much when you when you get out of the military, it's, it's a bit different. We're hoping that with Operation Pegasus, we can we can kind of get these guys back into that mindset and feel like they're part of a group again and feel like, hey, feel that camaraderie that I think is missing. I think definitely having ex, ex-military members as your staff members, it's, it's more relatable to the people you're trying to teach because we all get the same, we all talk the same talk no matter what trade you come from. So it was that same mentality, the same, you know, they're saying something, everyone else in our class, like being part of Roto One, and it's all, it was the old dinosaur guys, what I call them. Like it was, it was, it was the old vets that I was looking forward to contact with. And uh, it was a uh, guys older than my generation, guys from my generation. And we all kind of had that same mentality of, all right, and the instructor's talking, we just shut up and listen. Let's do our thing. Okay, we're paying attention, we're good. Okay, now we're on the ground and everybody moves at the same time and let's go. And it's like a military class all over again. So it was familiar, but you're learning something new and it's nothing military, so there's that, not that pressure if you need to know this, but the pressure you need to know because you're skydiving. Operation Pegasus is probably one of the best programs I've encountered in my entire time in uniform because it's a program for veterans and serving military and first responders designed by veterans. The missing link in many cases is programs are developed by people who have, can't walk the walk, can't talk the talk, they don't know and can't relate to what we've been through. A lot of overlooked things with veterans is the impact it has on their significant other as well as their uh, young family members. So I think this is a really good community initiative that I see growing and becoming bigger and better every year. Secondary PTSD is a big thing and spouses get it. And when you're deployed overseas, 
they're wearing that stress. They don't know if they're getting that phone call. Likewise with a spouse of a first responder. Every day is that stress. So it's important that spouses are recognized and included in every phase of this. For spouses and families, often when a military member retires, there is no title, there is no change over in community or where you just all of a sudden know your place and getting up to the drop zone and having that dinner together, um, all of a sudden there were people that I had never met who were spouses but had similar stories and similar experiences to me who I immediately was able to connect with and create this new sense of uh, community. The key word is couples. This veteran community is unique, but those couples that are part of this community of dealing with PTSD are even more so. And there is a distinct lack of programs out there to help couples deal with PTSD. It's not just one person's battle. A lot of these guys really struggle, but they, they struggle silently and they, they keep it inside. And to give them a safe place where they can come and discuss this and talk about it amongst their peers and guys that have been through very similar situations as them, I think will be a really valuable experience for a lot of these guys. It's a fantastic program for a couple people who have been through some trauma, uh, physical and mental. I saw this as a gateway, again, to another way to deal with that and to help others deal with it. You know, PTSD is, you know, wears many faces, so I think for somebody that accepts what this is all about and wants to get out of their comfort zone and try something different and maybe overcome some of their fears or anxieties or whatever it is that you know the triggers uh, this could be a great opportunity for those who have PTSD or CSI or whatever they're afflicted with and I think that just being around like-minded people and the communication that happens it puts I think it puts people in a, in a good place in a good headspace because they're not alone this, this is going to assist uh, the veterans and, and serving members, first responders, in a lot of ways, perhaps more than what we think. Um, it, it's an environment that's similar, but it, it's with people that have gone through what we've gone through. People that, that need camaraderie, they can get it here and get out of the military sometimes. It's, it's a big drop in camaraderie. And that's what we're building here. We're building an environment to build strong people that understand the importance of taking care of each other, nurturing each other, and developing each other so that there's that safety net. And that's the big driving force behind Op Pegasus. Just this, the sense of togetherness and, and uh, everybody's smiling, everybody's happy, and everybody's professional. And it's a culmination of just amazing people doing amazing things. I think it's a good way for guys to come back together, reminisce. I think that veterans must talk to each other because that's how you'll get through this. To have a network of people that have been through what you've been through, walk the mile in your shoes, so to speak, those are the people you're going to contact. Like I said, I'll never forget these guys, and I've known these guys for 30 years already. Watching the interaction of these people from day one to the day that they left was incredible. It was like they'd been together for years. And I think that was the proof of, of, of how solid this was and how, what a, what a uh, good experience they had. Yeah, and it was instant. Like, it, it wasn't something built over time. It was as soon as you walked in, I felt welcome there. Being alone, being feeling like you have no support or no connection is so hard. And the one thing that I can say is you may not think skydiving is your thing. You may not think you may think a lot of things about skydiving, but take skydiving out of the equation and Operation Pegasus Jump and the staff and the people who are there will start the wheel turning in a new tribe, in a new community, in a new connection, in a new way for you to be able to grow and develop. Honestly, just come on out and do it. See for yourself. Even if you're unsure of what you want to do or even if you're unsure if like, hey, maybe I don't want to do it this year. Get out and skydive because there is nothing that will put you past that fear and anxiety like stepping out of the plane with the freedom of knowing that you are empowered to do anything you want. The one thing I always tell everyone is just begin. Pick one thing that you really want to do 
and just start. I would absolutely recommend it to everyone else, yeah. Because I'm terrified of heights, so if I can do it, then anybody can do it. <laughs> yes, I would definitely recommend doing this. It was amazing. And uh, I'm addicted, I'll be doing it again, for sure. I recommend you come out and do it. It wasn't nearly as hard as I thought it was going to be. Absolutely phenomenal. It was fantastic, right from the start. Unbelievable experience. Highly, highly recommend it to anybody else coming out and trying for their first time as well. This was my first jump. It was fucking awesome. I had a blast. This was so much fun. Great turnout. This is the way. Hell yeah, I'd recommend it. <laughs> I can't tell you how, how cool that is. It makes me feel like a fucking soldier again. If you're thinking about doing this, that means you've thought about it. So sign up and execute and do it. Because you'll regret it if you don't. Because you're like, you know what? I should have done it. Come <laughs> on.